Hello there, everybody. This is No Name One One Seven Spore, and uh, I am back today with some more of the good old. Well, let's just make sure everything is set up. I think everything is set up. I kind of hurriedly rushed this one because I was watching a video literally like two minutes before I started the live stream and was playing Animal Crossing the whole time. I was actually playing Animal Crossing up until I began talking to you. Um, yeah. Let's, uh, let's go play some World of Waves 2. As, uh, as China, again. It's been a little bit, been a, been a little bit since I've done one of these episodes. Um, but, you know, that should be good. Alright, so, last, last time, we were at war with the French, and we were only able to actually grab, uh, what is it? Only able to grab a uh, no. A nom out of it. So France is a target. However, Japan also owns Northern Korea, at the moment. Russia, I suppose, is also a target due to them owning Sakhalin. I do not want to go to war with the British. I'm very scared of them. Um, America is my ally, so I don't want to fight them right now. And yeah. The situation right now is France, Japan, or Russia, and then maybe try to end it on, like, a war with Britain or something. Um, so, first things first. Doctrine-wise, we need to just stop training. Because that was way too many funds. Alright, so carrier-wise, I think all the planes on Nenjui need to go into the reserve, as well as all our planes on the two CVLs also need to go into the reserve fleet. And other than that, oh yeah, we do have some air bases. So I think uh, Sonya, I'm just going to take all these guys and disband them. Um, take all these guys here and disband them. And then you guys can be moved to reserve. So I do have an air base in reserve. So there we go. We've saved some money, not all of it. Unfortunately, a lot of stuff's damaged right now. Our stuff's most of our stuff is most of our stuff is in Southeast Asia at the moment. It would probably be good to divide stuff a little better. And because of this, I need a little bit more money, which means I probably need to halt something, a couple things for another month um, to get stuff a little bit better divided. So what I can send, I'll send these guys to Northeast Asia for the moment. For my capital ships, for my lighter ships. Um, we have the Yung Pao's still in Northeast Asia. They aren't very good. Those are just some, you know, very quickly ordered ones. Alright, so we need. I'll keep the Fu Kings in uh, North. Oh, wait, no, the Fu Kings are in Southeast Asia. I'll keep them there. I'll move the older Southeast Asian ones over to Northeast Asia. And then destroyer wise. Well, okay. I think all... Okay, these guys actually have eight torpedo tubes, so I think they're still front line, but these guys in back, I think, are back line now. So all of these guys here will just immediately be mothballed. Um, all of you guys will be mothballed. And then I need to get stuff out of Southeast Asia. So what's like a full group of destroyers I can take out? I can take the T-48s out. As well as maybe T-44. And move these guys to Northeast Asia for the moment. Okay, cool. And then... Yeah, mothball those guys. And then just... Reserve what I can of these guys. And then, other than that, anything over here... We should probably move to Northeast Asia too. But these guys should definitely be mothballed. Um, I'll move these guys into the reserve fleet. No, no, I'll reserve them. I'll just leave those guys in Southeast Asia for the moment. Uh, move both these guys to the reserve fleet. Mothball Nanchen. And everything else is moving. So I will be able to resume construction on one ship and it'll be that one. We'll get uh, Chi Yuan done here. So, I think that is this turn sorted out. Um, we did certainly lose some ships in that war. If we look at some of the 
1941 losses, you know, a couple destroyers. Oh, that's another destroyer right there. And then other than that, you know, we did have the 1938 war, which I think was the first war. Yeah, we had the two wars with France, and neither of which our politicians wanted to be nice to us about, like, once I had basically won them the war. Okay, CV's commission, cool. Alright, so let's see. So we shot down 44 enemy aircraft. Um, looks like our heavy anti-aircraft and fighters did very well. Our medium and light AA didn't do that well. But we haven't put a lot of light AA on ships. Alright, so there we go. Now we do have some money back. So let's resume the two which are the furthest away from completion at the moment. Um, well not the furthest, the closest to completion. Um, I would like to get that one building again, and we have some money to do so. So, okay, so, in terms of these guys, we have five, so that one should be mothballed. You will be reserved, you will be reserved, you will be reserved, yes. Um, we have seven here, so the first three should all be mothballed, and the other three should be reserved. And then down here, reserve fleet, reserve fleet, um, mothball the... No, we'll mothball these two carriers, and then you guys start by reserving all of you, and then mothball the two oldest ones. And that gets us even more money back, so I can resume construction on a carrier. Hooray, so Chi Yuan will continue to be built. And then, and that that is a very good situation, I will say. Okay then. Oh crap, I didn't want to bring OBS. Okay, there we go. That works. Um, so yeah. Good. We do need to get uh, Shansi building again. Definitely. Um, but, you know, hopefully as some of these uh, CAs come off the production line, we'll be able to do that. Okay, next month. Um, yeah. Fuck you, France. Alright, so in terms of old ships, some of the Yung Pows are getting old. Um, one of our ships did get activated, which should be in the mothballed for, uh, force. All you guys should be reserved. It would be nice to get some more 2,000 tonner destroyers here. So these these were the previous ones we had. Um, so we have an improved director. Yep, that's all we can get on them. Can we... Not really. It's probably not that great of an idea to do that either to get the dual fittings on these. Can we build this can we build larger destroyers? Can we build larger destroyers? Yes we can. Yeah, okay, we can. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, already just getting one of those makes this extremely difficult to do. We go down to four inch. Yeah, we go down to four inch guns and then do a uh, do something like this, and then just jam on a couple more of those. And is that good? I think that's a good. That's a good. That looks like a good destroyer design. Um, doesn't have a lot of extra weight remaining, but, you know, should hold up pretty well. Should be fast, lots of torpedoes, and lots of gun armament. Uh, where's my aft structure? There we go. And then where is, like, that structure 5? Structure 5 will be moved down here. There we go, that'll work. Alright. Design me that new destroyer, because I do want some more destroyers here, and some larger ones. And yeah, I think everything is in the Mothball or Reserve Fleet, which needs to be in the Mothball or Reserve Fleet. We can resume construction on another ship, and that'll be that light cruiser. Damn it. So those have wound up being slower than intended. Alright, build me four of them. And we have a little bit of leftover money. I'm going to spend it on larger docks. And then get Shansi rebuilding probably at the end of the month. 
Um, and yeah. You know what? No, no, not yet, not yet. I gotta wait till something else completes. Oh yeah, that new heavy cruiser probably needs to be reserved. So what I'm gonna do with Nan Chen is Nan Chen is gonna receive a very expensive rebuild. Because Nan, I want to keep Nan Chen around. Oh, come on. Can our ship stop having that damn issue? Ah. So annoying. Alright, so I will resume construction on uh, Shanxi now. And then hopefully once we get one of these uh, carriers done, we'll be able to uh, rebuild Nan Chen as I want to. Um, yeah, I don't. You're Britain. I don't want to go to war with Britain. Alright. Okay, come on. Get that CA done. Uh, I don't need better 9-inch guns. Oh, hey, better steam turbines. That's good. Hey, those two are done. Uh, no, I'm not going to buy that. And now I have some money. So... This is against my normal design philosophy. What I'm about to do is very much against that. However, I want Nan Chen to last. Okay, so if we want Nan Chen to still make 26 knots, if she goes 9, she'll do 27. Um, so if we bring her up to 30... Or 31. If she's at 31, then she would be doing 28 at 31. At 32, she'd be doing uh, 29, I think. Yeah, she'd be doing 29 at 32, and that would bring her up to the same speed as the Chow y or Cow Youngs, despite the bulge. So her secondaries are going to go in uh, double turrets. She's going to have 16 of them. They will be dual pur uh She'll have 12 of them, I think. And they'll be dual purpose guns. She will continue to have an advanced director. Her turrets will be upgraded to more powerful 10 inch guns. Now, if I can get her up to those 16 secondaries, I'll die. yeah, I'll do that. Mm. And we'll reduce the number of those down. She can have two aircraft still. Hall form will not allow a higher speed than 31 knots. Ah, oh, that's so lame. So she can only go this fast then so we're already spending all this money no I'm not gonna change the armor on the turrets so yeah engine priority normal go with reliable engines Oh, we could could just put additional deck armor on her. That might help. Oh, I had no tertiary guns anymore. And then we can bring those back up. Or alternatively, see if we can get another secondary going. Yeah, okay. So there's the Nan Chen rebuild, the very expensive Nan Chen rebuild, which is just going to completely turn her into a modern ship. And I don't usually do this, but Nan Chen has been very special, and I don't want her to sink. So she's only going to be able to make 28 knots, but that's fine. This is going to hurt. There we go. Nan Chen is getting her rebuild. So she'll have three inches of deck armor. Um, and, you know, have a torpedo bulge. We'll get a new carrier in service here very shortly. Um, I will take that offer. Um, let's help Britain root out those rebels. I don't want to piss them off, even though I do want that territory for myself. And, you know, honestly, if Britain still has that territory, then I might be able to take it. In, in the future war I'm kind of planning with them. So, um, we should probably still have a carrier laid down. 
by the end of this. So I'm going to go no belt armor. Um, she'll still have one inch of deck armor, I think. Uh, turrets. Can she do that? Turret top. Ships must have belt armor. So we'll give it an inch of belt. Deck park. Um, you know what? We'll stick with 72 plane carriers. Um, yeah, that'll work. Okay, so we'll probably want her to be a little faster. If at all possible. No, I want her to be better protected. So get her... Mm, I want to see what I can... That's a massive carrier already. Just that jump. From, you know, 72 to 96. Yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, 74 plane carriers here. Um, you know what? I'm not going to have the extra flight deck armor. I think this is acceptable. She doesn't have any secondaries, so yeah, let's just get rid of those. No, no, she should be at 72, right? Yeah. Would be nice to get like two inches of flight deck armor. Um, but I don't think it's that great of an idea. Maybe unit machinery just in case she gets hit. Yeah, let's bring it to 31. Let's bring her to 31 knots. Yep, developer. And then we'll lay her down shortly after the other one, after the third uh, Chingyuan gets completed. Alright, there we go, new CV. I'm not going to buy more technologies. Oh hey, we get uh, we can get torpedo tubes on 7,000 ton light cruisers now. Oh, France is having some issues. Looks like. So hey, look at that three fleet carriers. I think it's time to send the uh, young Pows in for a rebuild so they can get an advanced director. Um, can I get director firing uh, secondary guns? Yes, I can. So what one thing I'm going to do is that the broadside torpedo tube mounts are going to become a centerline torpedo mount. And is that doable? Yes, it is. And then that might allow me to get a couple anti-aircraft directors on these ships. And I'd like to get our secondary guns up to four inches. Even though these uh, cruisers are kind of garbage, it would be really nice to get like a uh, additional turret in somewhere. try out a forward double or something, but I don't think that's a good idea. Maybe an additional one of those. And then just get rid of all the light anti-aircraft guns. Um, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. Send the Jung Pows in for that rebuild. That should make them a little bit more efficient. And then we should be able to get a new carrier laid down here. Hush it up. I don't want tensions increasing with the U.S. Hey, Japan. Tensions with Japan have increased a little bit. I think a war with Japan would be pretty fun. Let's get these Yung Pows back. Uh, no thanks for the Torpex warhead. Um, there we go. We got the Yung Pows. Yeah, mothballed them. So I'm hoping to play through this peacetime. I don't know if I'll play through the next wartime. I mean, it often depends on just on how stuff goes. So we're going to get the other light cruiser in here sh uh, very shortly. 
There we go. New CL done. So if I open this design, I can get a little bit more mass out of it. I mean, I could just go for that. Or... No, can't do that. I can't really go for the 5-inch guns yet. So I'll just stick with the 4-inch uh, quality ones on that design, and then I'll order three of them. So they'll be in a squadron, I guess, with the last of the Kuang Kens. There we go. Uh, no thanks. Okay, 2%. Wait. Awesome, okay, so the first Kuang Ken's gonna enter service. Here. Uh, no thanks, I don't need better 11-inch guns. Yeah, Nan Chen is still getting her massive rebuild, which is going to turn her into an even more effective warship. Um, yeah, that's going to be very fun. Continuing to uh, move with her. So yeah, she can only go 28 knots now, but at least has a little bit of torpedo protection. Uh, which was something she kind of sorely lacked before. So in terms of light cruisers... Um, we have nine good ones and then some bad ones. Well, some of them are a little slow, so it might be good to get... Uh, hmm, let's see. If we open this design... Okay, these are kind of garbage. Can we just do this? With some unit machinery. Second so guns? Yeah, four inch and twins. Could get more of those... And then get an advanced director on them. And I think that is a good cruiser design. Let's just double check. What are we... Oh yeah, we're about to get the Kwong Kens back. So I might be able to uh, build this still. So let's... Uh, increase that anti-aircraft just a little bit. Um, oh yeah, she needs her uh, triples. And then, you know what, I, I want to get that up. See if I can get another 4-inch uh, gun. And then unit machinery. Yeah, I'll get rid of the light anti-air and only give her medium and above. Yeah, that's fine. So apparently, yeah, some of these have not been have not had their director improved. Those guys have. Have you? Yeah, okay. So all of our battleships, I believe, have an improved director at the moment. Well, not improved. Advanced director. But not all of our light cruisers do. Some of them do. But some of the new commissions don't. Uh, we do need to build more subs. I'm going to hold off on that for the moment. Let's wait for some stuff to complete. Let's go for a cruiser. All right, interesting, uh, interesting way that increased tensions. Russia has granted independence to Sakhalin. Uh, handle it quietly and discreetly. Was that the? Yeah, build me one cruiser for now with that budget. Damn it, Russia! All right, war with Russia is pointless. There is zero point to going to war with Russia anymore. Thank you, Russia. You have made it absolutely pointless to even go to or even consider going to war with you. <sighs> That's a good tech. I'll take it. New Caledonia is now free. Yeah, it looks like we're starting to see a uh, wave of rebellion and freedom in the world. Should not buy what we can develop for ourselves. Advances in fire control. Pretty cool. We're just gradually making a little bit of money right now. Okay, so that's the heavy cruiser French... Fr France... French... France is building. And, uh... Pretty powerful, I would say. I think we can best it. Oh, hey! New director type. Cool. Electro optical. It's hypothetically possible we could play to the end. Oh, hey! 
Yeah, let's send a strong force, because it's an uprising in China. It needs a strong force. We are China. We need to send a strong force to, uh, you know, help defeat the rebellion within our own country. Why would China not send a strong force to deal with a rebellion in their own country? All right, Nanchen is almost going to be done. Um, I'll open the Pinguin design. Oh, God, Pinguin. I really hope that doesn't mean what I think it means. Uh, actually, it's not a bad meaning. I mean, probably doesn't. All right, deck edge lifts. I do want, uh, you know what, we'll go for the 96,000. Ton aircraft carrier. She will still have that amount of, uh, of those. Um, can we add catapults to the carriers yet, like these guys? Is that doable? Nope, we haven't, we don't have flight deck catapults yet. All right, so she'll still be an unarmored carrier, but she'll be able to hold a lot more planes and she'll also be a lot heavier. In the meantime, um, we also need to stick more of this on her. Okay, so now I wanna completely change how this ship looks. So structure one, go away, structure two, go away, structure three, go away, and structure, f oh crap, I screwed up with structure four, structure five, and structure six then. All right, okay, so asymmetric funnels. Uh, we're gonna have one funnel there. We're gonna have a nice, big, f chunky funnel, I suppose. Like that. But that'll be our only funnel on this carrier. And then, asym uh, no, no asymmetric superstructure yet. So structure three, um, let's do, we could maybe do something like this. Have it just go out a little bit there. We can kind of down a bit. Yeah, this kind of looks good. Yeah, okay, that that doesn't look bad. Um, so structure one will probably start about here-ish. No, no, hold on. We'll start it here. it back into uh, maybe here and you can bring it out bit by the five inch turrets uh, I'll just extend it back this way I don't normally accomplish that much on that one, so I'll do, you know what, mm, start with the two, start here, do this, no that doesn't look great, start here, go out, go in, go out, go in, go back, do a little platform here, that'll work. Uh, structure three is the flight deck. Structure four, I would want to be the, um, what is it? The elevators. So we'll do that with structure four. Okay, come on. Forward elevator here. For our 96 plane aircraft carrier. Go back, go back. Okay, come on. And then kind of go back here. Okay, that'll work. Um, structure 5 will need to be asymmetric. And I'm going to quickly just reload the Twitch right now so that I can uh, actually see viewer count because it otherwise will not let me for some reason. 
I don't think I have many right now anyway. Um, shouldn't ever get my hopes up about that. I'm not a great streamer, so... Yeah. Oh, well, some people, at least uh, some people on YouTube will see it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it kind of look like the funnel is going out a little bit to the side here. Although, what I'm going to do to do this is I'm going to do something a little tricky. And... I'm going to do something like... You know, why did you not... Why are you not straightening up? Come on, straighten up. Straighten up, damn it. Thank you. Good enough. And go forward. Go forward to about there, and then just kind of... Close it in like that. And then structure six can be a little thing on top of here. Um, we'll do that. There we go. That looks like the carrier. And so just a new name. So we'll start building one of those when uh, Nan Chen gets out. Uh, denounce the policies of France. Yeah, why not? Hey, new destroyer commission. That's cool. Always good to get a uh, new destroyer in service. And yeah, we are going to be able to order that um, CV here soon. It might be good to do order another uh, CL right now. And I know some stuff just fell off my desk, and you probably heard it. But it doesn't matter very much. But yeah, we do need some of these scouts, uh, light cruisers, you know, 30 knot, 30 knot ships. Just so that we can have a good scouting wing. Um, French government. They cannot prevent us from fulfilling our manifest destiny. Sure, apparently we as China have a manifest destiny now. Okay, Nan Chen is out. Um, I'm not going to buy that. And build me a new CV. Hey, look at the extra money I have. Let's uh, put it into some medium-range subs. Let's check the subs right now. So our oldest are from, 19 tw are from the 1920s. I'm going to keep them. Um, I'm going to build a set of coastal subs, two, and maybe two mine-laying subs, just so we can get our submarine force back up. And I'm going to expand the docks again. And once the docks are expanded, I think we're going to want to design a new battleship. Um, that is assuming war with France doesn't come before then. Uh, I'm not going to buy that. Oh, portable pumps, that's cool. Expect advances in fleet tactics. Um, might be good right now to just see what America has in terms of stuff. So, US, they have a 1943 fighter. Anyone have a 44? France does. Any 44s here? Ah, uh, has America built anything for 44? I don't think so. So, they have a 1943 fighter. Um, still, their dive bomber is still old. That's still old. Um, honestly, I think I will buy a license for that aircraft for their new fighter and see how that goes. Okay, awesome. Anti -air advanced anti-aircraft director, that's cool. Alright, tensions with both France and Russia are increasing. We could find ourselves at war here. Okay, better 7-inch guns, like it matters. Oh yeah, and the improved Nan Chen is also done. Oh, tensions with Britain are increasing. I want to get those down. But yeah, now Nan Chen is looking way better than she, than she ever has been. She is going to be slaughtering stuff, unless 
a submarine gets her. But yeah, 1910 ship still serving in good capacity now that she's been uh, massively upgraded. And yeah, so I'll keep her on lower duty. I don't think... Oh. Okay, then. Oh, god damn it. it I selected it and... For whatever reason, it automatically dra dragged my mouse up to the X button. I don't know why you do that, Real Waves 2. I almost accidentally exited out of the game, which would not have been fun. So, first off, we are looking at war soon. Second off, a bunch of our ships are getting old. Third off, we need to start upgrading stuff, like, now. So, you guys, go in. Get an Electro-Optical Director. Other than that... Um, hmm. Yeah, okay, stick with your current layout. Uh, if I can get an extra gun on you, that would be great. Yeah, going for a rebuild. Uh, Shanxi is only nine months away. I might halt the new CV. Um, so, in reserve, we do have some air groups. I'm trying to remember what goes where. Okay, so flying boat, fighter, medium... Are you guys... How many planes is this? Um, so, I will stick you at... Um, let's try Fort Bayard at the moment. Yeah, okay, that was all to Fort Bayard then. Okay, cool. So then... We have... Let's see... So we have some stuff in the reserves. Um, so we have this group of, oh yeah, 10, 10, 10, 10, and 9. So you guys gotta go to Nenjui. Which means that one of you guys is on, uh, Qi'an, and one of you guys is on Feiyun. Okay, cool. And then, auto at aircraft. Change roll. You change to a dive bomber. You change role to a torpedo bomber. Uh, you know what? I'm going to change your number to six. Your number to six. Change your role to a fighter. Change your... No, not your number. Your role to a torpedo bomber. And then add an air unit of dive bombers. There we go. Copy air group paste it, and paste it. So over right now at, um, okay, so, yeah, at Danang we have stuff. We need to get stuff on at uh, Kamran Bay, too. So copy that air group, paste it at Kamran Bay, and then also paste another one at Fort Bayard. Oh, I know, Fort Bayard has one. Paste it at Da Nang, too. There we go, cool. And then that will give us, you know, attacks on those three regions. Um, Alright, Yang Wei, you go in for an electro-optical director. It would be You'd be a good ship to uh, give a proper secondary rebuild to. And I want to do it, because I don't want secondaries in casemates anymore. So, but you know, your orange guns are quality one. We could do this. Yeah, send her in. Send Kai Chi in as well for an electo. All oh, right, she doesn't have any. Okay, reduce her secondary guns. And increase her number of, uh, you know, can I keep 10 6-inch tertiaries? Yeah, I can't go to 12. Okay, yeah, that'll work. That'll work. 
So there we go. So we actually do have some heavy anti-aircraft guns on Kaichi now. Um, Nanchen only has an advanced director, so we will rebuild her with an electro-optical. And she's in good shape at the moment. Along with the uh, Chao Yungs. I really hope... Okay, so she's still going 28 knots, so they did fix that bug. Um, there was a bug where if you rebuild a ship which was bulged, um, it would sometimes undo stuff. It would be nice to get those to be auto-loader, but I don't think I want to. So yeah, go Electro-Optical Director then. No, no, cancel. Give her some more anti-aircraft guns. Okay, I really hope she stays. I think she I think she will stay as is, right? Open the design. Okay, yeah, so she keeps her bulge in deck armor. Um Alright, so in terms of ships under construction I'm just gonna have to leave it at this. A lot of our stuff is gonna finish well some of okay, so our refits are gonna rebuild or finish up here soon. We'll get Shanti in service very soon, and I think it's time to start uh at least at the very least gunnery training. Um yeah, gunnery training for our uh ships. I don't think I wanna do night fighting training. Okay, improves invasion capability, that's cool. Uh halt her. Halt halt the light cruisers, halt her. Okay, go to low spying on them. Okay, new destroyers commissioned. Yeah, piss off France. So, we basically figured out who we're going to go to war with next here. Um, so now we get all of these ships back. Alright, better air launch torpedoes and larger airfields. So now Mothball U. Oh, we didn't get the second one. Honestly... Reserve all of you for the moment. We need to get ships like, uh... Oh, these are the high ends. They're not that great. Uh, they don't have any, uh... Dual-purpose secondaries, though, so they should probably receive some of those. I'll probably decrease their torpedo tubes down to triple mounts. Just so that they can get some. And then we can slightly reduce the anti-aircraft, and they'll be good. Alright, there we go. Hyans are getting rebuilt. Um, let's rebuild Hanan with an electro-optical director. And her setup is already very good. It would be nice to rebuild those as auto-loaders. We can. Let's rebuild them as auto-loaders. Actually, I think that's going to be more expensive than I think, so I won't. Alright, send her in, uh, send an high in for a very similar rebuild, electro-optical, give her the anti-aircraft directors, and give her a couple more medium anti-aircraft guns. Alright, so these guys should be ready, and I do want them sent to Southeast Asia. So in terms of carriers, I think I want to activate them. I'll reserve you, and I'll reserve you. Um, I'll keep two active and move those two into Southeast Asia. Alright, so I don't think we're going to have peace time. It's 1945, um, so we're kind of past the early 40s. Um, in terms of other cruisers I can refit, I probably want to refit these guys. If I can give them auto loader, that would be great, but I don't think I want to. Yeah, no, I'm not going to give him an auto-loader. I'm not going to commit to that style of rebuild here. Give them more anti-aircraft guns. So rebuild them. Rebuild these guys. Give them their electro-optical. Again, no... None of that. And... Yeah, okay, there we go. Cool. 
more anti-aircraft guns. That's a good design. Wu Sing. And we're are out of money. But we're going to get... Oh, damn it. Damn it, America! Ooh, interesting, interesting, interesting. But, you know, we're getting close to the point where I want to keep prestige going. But I do need budget right now. No America backing us up is going to make this a lot more challenging, though, I will say. All right. I really want to get Chansey done. Okay, come on. You guys got to go to war. New docks completed. Awesome. You know what? Yeah, it's Russia. I, I don't care that much. I mean, I don't want to go to war with Russia. I want to go to war with uh, France and Germany. But, you know, I will take a tension increase with Russia if it means my budget gets increased. Hello, let's give you an... Yeah, let's give you that, and then... Mm. Yeah, we'll do this. For, uh... uh Zeshuan. So in terms of other ships which need a rebuild, uh, Tinguin needs a rebuild. And, yeah, we'll do that. I want to give her an additional tertiary. No, an additional, yeah, set of double tertiaries. And we'll give her a couple uh, medium anti-aircraft guns. So then Hainan is the last capital ship, which needs a uh, electro-optical director. Um, it would be nice to get her an additional set of those guys. Yeah, yeah, okay, we can do that. To increase her uh, heavy anti-aircraft factor. And that'll be all of them going in. Um, other than that, um, I think Yang Wu has to go in. Get an electro-optical director. And she is already really overweight. Okay, then. <sighs> Reduce the torpedo tubes to three each. So we can jam more anti-aircraft guns on her. Like that. So that she can have an electro-optical director. The uh, Sean Shangs. I think you're going to just be able to get your rebuild a bit easier. Yeah, okay, that's pretty easy. And then Sean Wee. Electro-optical director. I can't get any more anti-aircraft on you. I'll just leave you as is. And then, uh, Shinao. You need an Electro Optical Director as well. I'll just leave you as is. So that should be... You know what? These guys didn't get one, though. Not like I can afford putting one on them. At least until, uh, Shansi's done. Okay. Yes. Complete her with the best fire control. There we go. Stuff's finishing their reconstruction. That's good. Take it! Damn it. Improved carrier design. Damn it. I was hoping to uh, take New Caledonia. That would be fun. But no. Alright, so in terms of ships which still need rebuilds, um, some of our 2,000 tonners, these guys need a rebuild apparently. So we'll give him an advanced director. I'll see if I can get dual purpose main guns. That would be nice, but I don't think I can. Um... Yeah, I'll just get an additional anti-aircraft gun then for them. And then you guys. Oh, a T-44 needs a rebuild. So you will get an advanced director. It'd be nice to get some dual purpose main guns on you, but... Once again... Too much. I think. And then we also have the T-48s, which will... They're already a little overweight, unfortunately. So I think we'll get away, with, or delete those two. We'll add that turret. Okay, that'll work. Wow, were these guys like overweight or something? 
maybe. All right, let's see if we can get not many anti-aircraft guns, but at least we'll have that AA director on those uh, old destroyers. And then these guys are all old. Okay. Oh, damn it, our minesweepers are all old as well. Um, so yeah, just give them K-guns and rebuild them. And give these guys K-guns. I use 600 tons, yeah. And just rebuild them. Alright, so unfortunately I do have to reserve some stuff here. I'm probably going to reserve you. Um, okay, cool. And then one month away from that cruiser... Coming back. There we go. Cool. Alright. So we're still getting stuff returning. Oh, and Anji needs a rebuild, so we'll give her an electro optical director. She has uh, the 4 inch guns, and we'll just jam more of those guns there on her. send her in for a rebuild and the CVLs are also old so let's send them in give them an electro optical director and then give her some more uh, medium AA guns and send all them in for a rebuild on top of this um, the remaining uh, Lehus will send in um, it would be nice to jam some K guns on them I don't know how much we can. We can get rid of a torpedo tube to do it. And maybe their aft gun. Yeah, okay, that'll work. Alright. Um, you can get your Y gun back. And then the Sweet Chings will do a very similar thing to. Um, so they need a K gun. They'll just lose their aft turret. Then we can do that. So they won't have a lot of a good anti-air, or they won't have uh, like any anti-aircraft protection. Um, other than that, you know, we have that one's going to be old. Give it an advanced director. You're you're just in. You're not even a mainline ship anymore. Let's be real. All right. We'll stick with an improved director. Screw it. So you're just a sub hunter at this point. All the ones with four torpedo tubes will just be sub hunters. So we need to do this on this one. Um, that's fine. And then. Other than that, yeah, every all of our main ones I think are active. So the Kwong Kens I will activate, and then I'll move all of these guys down for now into Southeast Asia, just to make sure we have a half decent destroyer force down there. And they'll activate the Lacons too. So okay, so this turn we get some CLs out. Yeah, let's go Bougainville. Oh come on, for Pete's sake, give me one. Alright, situation has gotten really bad. Alright, these guys have to be rebuilt. So, send them in. T-28s have to be rebuilt too. Um, you guys are sub-hunters at this point. Oh dear god, I'm going to go to war with a flippin' world now, aren't I? That'll be fine, that'll be fine double torpedo tube on the T-24s, and I'm only going to rebuild two because um, some of those are T-28s instead. So T-28s, um, again, reduce that to two. Do that, get rid of the aft turret, uh, maybe reduce it to three. Alright, T-28s, you go in for a rebuild too. 
since you are no longer mainline ships and the T10s, you will get a 2K gun set. Um, you will lose your F and your G turrets, and that'll be good. And then you will also act very much in that patrol wall, uh, patrol roll. All right, so put spying on Russia to low. Start activating everything. Damn it, I can't do that. Can't get away with it yet. On the good news, the good news is Shanti's gonna finish next turn. Mission four subs, Shanti's finished, and stuff's refinish are finishing their reconstruction. All right. Cool, we can actually start activating some stuff. I want my carriers active. Two are in Southeast Asia, one's in Northeast Asia. Ooh, this this is going to be a risky, risky war. Just start activating all the all the cruisers. And now that Chauncey's working up, that's going to be good. Um, move all these guys to the reserve fleet. Save a little bit of money for the moment. Uh, move all these guys here to the active fleet. I want all my active destroyers on active duty at the moment. And then you can go to the reserve fleet since you are a sub hunter now. Although, yeah, yeah, you're a sub hunter. Alright, so in one month we'll get a lot of the stuff done. I think the battleship uh, Sejuan back, as well as, you know, a lot of our destroyers and such. Um, it would be nice to get, you know, some more of these guys building again, especially a Ping Duan. Get the carrier. Hey, new training applied. That's good. Sejuan, they finished their reconstruction. Cool. Alright, aircraft types. I need to... Okay, America is on the lowest tension. So America right now, they have the Hellcat C, right? Yeah. So in terms of dive bomber, are there any Japanese ones I can buy? Nope. Torpedo bomber, are there any American ones I can buy? Nope. 1938. Philippine Scout. Yes, U.S. does have two more. This one's faster. Let's buy a license for it. Flying boat. Does U.S. have one? Uh, same one as we're currently using. Medium bomber. Does U.S. have a new one? Mm, no, they don't. And heavy bomber. It doesn't matter. Oh my god. U.S. has not been designing many new planes. Well then. Hey, commission six subs. Stuff's done. Take the prestige. As much as I would li like budget right now, that would trigger war. Good news is, though, I'm starting to get all my ships back. Alright, so all of you guys go into the reserve fleet. We've got a good divide between North... I would say we have a good divide between Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia, but it would be nice to get some of these guys in Northeast Asia. And that does give us a good squadron in Southeast Asia. It's definitely some thought about moving maybe the T-34s down to uh, Southeast Asia. So, we'll, yeah, we'll swap a couple squadrons out. Other than that, we do have the battleship uh, Shanxi. And in locations, which I'm going to need aircraft, um, probably, do we have an airbase, like, at Wakanae? Or Wakanae? Um, no, I don't. Alright, build an airbase at uh, Wakanai then. Alright. So, base overview, base overview. Um, let's see, coastal fortifications, uh, where is it? Where's the stuff in like a nom? Yeah, expand that base, expand that base. And then some of the ones in other places. Um, I think the ones in Hainan I want to expand. Is there one in southern China? Oh yeah, Kuang Chao Wan. Kuang Chao Wan bases I want to expand too. Alright. So that would be Fort Bayard. 
So s just start expanding those guys. Um, I don't think a lot of fighting will take place in Java. Um, current invasion range is that big. Oh, it's interesting how you can see the range get smaller towards the equator and bigger away from it. They do actually have that model. That's pretty cool. Um, Alright, so more of the destroyers are going to finish up, as well as the CVLs. Okay, come on. I wanted to go to war with Germany and France. Oh, Britain is... Britain has granted independence to Ireland. Yeah, fuck you, Russia. And it looks like we're going to go to war with Russia instead, because this game hates me. Alright. Oh, hey, new new American dive bomber. Um, thank you. It's faster than our current dive bomber. No shit. I'll buy it. Okay. Air base in Hokkaido. No. I'll take a small budget hit to do that. Decrease it with uh, Britain. Don't want to be buying technologies. Hey, our new dive bomber is now ready for service. It's cool. Now that we have the Curtis um, Avenger. Okay. Oh, that was my tissue box, which fell down there. Okay. So we're getting v really close to war at this point. I'm going to go medium spying on Russia. In terms of subs, we did get a new batch ready. Um, in terms of ships, we're pretty ready for war. Just go to high spying on Russia. Screw it. Um... Protest it. Piss off France. I don't care about Britain. Um, well, actually, I do care about Britain. I don't want Britain to get into the war. Additional funding. Now, I want to get into a war with France, too. So I'm going to divert attention by pissing off France. And this will also drag Germany into the war. Oh, dear God. This is going to be interesting. I should have resumed a ship there. All right, so you, you're the closest done. Um, you're the next closest. You're the next closest. Get those two resumed. I'll resume all three. We're going to get another carrier here. All right, all right, all right. So let's see. France, right now, they have four carriers. Um, one, one is good. One has 87 aircraft. It's big. It can go very fast. It's got a lot of five-inch guns. One is... Pain leave, which is okay. We fought it before, and then they've got uh, Navarre and Seoul, which are decent. They only have one in Southeast Asia, though, it's reporting. Um, France, other than that, doesn't have any battleships. They have a lot of heavy cruisers and some very good ones, but no battleships. That's important. Russia, does France have subs? How many subs do they have? Uh, France has 55, Russia has 53, Germany has 24. Germany right now has four battleships still in service. One of these is von der Tann, which looks kind of like a North Carolina. We've got uh, Worth, which is older. We've got Brandenburg, which is also older. And uh, Witzelsbach, which is uh, newer. Russia, in terms of battleships, has the battleship uh, Pervinets and the battleship Poltava. So, I have eight battleships and four battlecruisers currently in service. I have, right now, a 2 to 1 superiority in gun-armed capital ships over these three nations which all have more budget than me. Okay then, CV-wise, Germany has 5, Russia has 3. So, carrier from a carrier perspective, um, it's not as even. The Russian carriers, two of them are smaller, one of them is bigger. Leningrad's bigger. Uh, German carriers... Um, Germany does have one big carrier still, and then some smaller ones. So we are going to have, uh, four medi- or we- right now we have, uh, three kind of medium-sized carriers, a smaller one, then two light carriers. Um, okay, so I want 
I don't want these guys serving in any uh, action, so I'm going to keep them on the reserve fleet until war starts. Um, but everything else I want active. Because I want these guys to uh, be on Coastal Patrol when stuff goes down. As long as we can avoid war with Britain, I'll be okay. Everything's working up. We do have Doctrine enabled. And everything... Our fleet's active right now. And in both sea zones. About an even force. Alright, so let's see. So what's in Northeast Asia? So in Northeast Asia, we have the battleships Chongqing and Tonghai, as well as uh, Tingyuan and uh, Sejuan. Um, the fast battleships... Or two of the fast battleships are in Southeast Asia. However, the newer fast battleship uh, Shanxi is in Northeast Asia. I'm definitely most scared of the Russian ship, so I think that's how it'll work. Or I, I think I'll keep it that way. Um, there's some thought about moving the Chongqians down to Southeast Asia. And then pulling maybe... Uh, oh, those guys are in Northeast Asia. And then maybe pulling Hainan. No, I'll keep Hainan there. Alright, I will pull Hainan back to Northeast Asia. Then, okay, so carrier-wise, we have two in Southeast Asia, two in... Or, it would be good to have two in Northeast Asia, too. Um, as well as the CVLs will be in Northeast Asia for the moment. Because uh, Russia can definitely base more stuff out of there. I could very easily see a lot of the fighting taking place in Northeast Asia, but I don't know. I don't know how this is going to go. This is going to be a very, very interesting war. Um, so those, those CAs are in Southeast Asia, um, Nanchen's in Northeast Asia, um, how many CAs does Russia have? 32, and France has that many. Nanchen will move down to Southeast Asia, well, the Chao, one of the Chaoyongs will move up to Northeast Asia. So CAs are where we are massively outnumbered, but hopefully we can win some battles and sink some. CAs tend to be, uh, kind of squishy. In terms of air groups, I would like to add more aircraft to Comron Bay, as well as uh, Fort Bayard, and there. And other places, uh, I'd like to add aircraft to you. Um, I'd probably want to add some to Port Arthur. And then, do we have one at Tsing Tao? Yes, we do. Oh my god. All the air bases, all the air bases have to have aircraft at this point. Uh, so we, yeah, Haiku and Sonya should definitely get aircraft. Yeah, okay. Might be good to get a squadron or a few at Takao. Or at Takao, I will change your role into a torpedo bomber role. Um. Probably don't want any there. I'll get some at Swatow. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, copy that air group and we'll give it to Swatow as well. And then just in case, what do we have down at Java? That place is like, um, Surabaya. In Batavia. Alright, that will allow us to fight in these theaters. Make the agent national hero. That's gonna put us to war with France. There we go. War is broken out with France. Um, I'm gonna need to take a quick break, and once I am back, we will fight this war. I'll also change the title. So, yep. Be right back.
Alright, I'm really sorry about that. I am back now. And I should be, uh, should be good to go. I'm gonna try to run this live stream maybe until about two hours, ten minutes in. So that should allow us maybe one to two battles. Alright, so... First issue is I appear to have lost money now that we have gone to war. Um, so you guys all need to be on trade protection. And then... All of you guys need to be on trade protection. At the same time, I think I need to halt that new carrier. And probably also that light cruiser. We are going to get a carrier in four months, and I need to keep that going. We want to invade Tonkin. In terms of warships, we have a significant advantage right now in Southeast Asia. We still have a lot of ships deployed in Northeast Asia. I think I need to send some ships down from Northeast Asia... I don't want to send too many down, but I think I want to get a carrier into Southeast Asia. So the carrier ninja we will be moved into Southeast Asia. Which I think is going to help. And I'm just advertising the stream more. Sorry about that. Um, okay. So we're moving that down. So in terms of Northeast Asia, we have a lot of these guys. In terms of destroyers, I think we're good. In terms of light cruisers, where are they? So, no, those are carriers. So two of these are in, most modern two are in Northeast Asia. The next, I'm going to move these two down into Southeast Asia. And then these two back up to Northeast Asia. Do a cruiser swap. And then over here, all these guys are in Northeast Asia. We need a couple in Southeast Asia. So I think I'll move these two into Southeast Asia. So that'll... I'll move two of the young Poes. No, I won't. Yeah, I'll move them to Southeast Asia. Alright, there we go. There we go. Cruiser swap is underway. Unfortunately, these guys are only have an advanced director. Well, the rest of these have electro-optical. Um, yes. So... I want to try to get uh, good control of Southeast Asia at the moment. Um, see if I can. I am not going to be able to kick Germany out, but if I can kick France out, then Germany doesn't have a lot of base capacity there, and I only have to have a limited uh, fleet in the region. All right, cruiser action off of Java. I do have aircraft in the area. They're going to decline convoy defense near Hainan. Yes, I'll have aircraft. Um, small cruiser action in southern China. I'll accept. Oh, hey, now we get flight deck catapults. There you go. Germany is now at war. I have to halt another uh, cruiser, I think. Why am I losing... Oh, yeah, planes. Um, Alright. So... I think... How am I going to do this? Hmm. I think I'm going to disband all the planes at Port Arthur. I'm going to change the number of these guys down to four, change the number of these guys down to four, and then change the type of these guys to uh, torpedo bombers. Actually, that's at Wakanae. So you should probably actually be at 12. Wakanae is a bit important. Um, so we do have some... Oh, Singtao. Singtao I want to reduce. Change number down to 4, and change number down to 4, and then change roll to a uh, torpedo bomber. Okay, um, so what's going on at Takao? I'm going to reduce the number down to 6, reduce the number down to 6 at Takao. Um... We did have some at Swatow, so I want to take the Swatow ones also down to 6 and uh, 6. Alright, so... Air groups at, let's say, Sorbaya and Batavia. Yeah, I'll take them each down to 6.
but I just can't quite afford this. And then our expensive ones are Kamran, Danang, Sanya. Okay, so Kamran has weird squadrons. So she got she has ten flying boats, uh, which I'm gonna reduce that number down to eight. Thirteen fighters, I'm gonna change that to maybe twelve. Um, I'm going to disband this medium bomber squadron of 20, but I am going to give this guy another 4, and then I'll put another 4 in each of these squadrons. 2. Fort Bayard, your flying boats, you will go down... You no, know, you're going to go down to 4 flying boats at Fort Bayard. Fighters, you're only going to get 8. Medium bombers, you're... No. Medium bombers, you're only going to get 8. Torpedo bombers, 8. And dive bombers, 8. Um, and I think Haiku... Change number of fighters down. Disband that group of fighters. Disband that group of fighters. Um, change number to 8. Change number to 8. Maybe I'll add an air unit of dive bombers at 8. There, too. So, Airbase Sonya. Change number. You know what? I'll disband the second and third. I'll disband the second fighter squadron. Change the number of these guys to 12. Um, disband the third fighter squadron. Change the number of these guys to 12. And then change the number of those guys to 12. And then add an air unit of 8 dive bombers. Okay, so Denong. I'm going to change that to 8. Fighters to 8. Medium bombers, you'll be 8. Torpedo bombers and dive bombers, you'll each be 12. Okay, I think that works. So that certainly has reduced my monthly balance. Or the amount I'm spending each turn. Alright, but we need to start invading some of these places and hope that our budget increases. So, we still don't have that large of a force in either location. Uh, current worry is that Russia gets into the war. Okay, previous tractors. Hey, we've sunk a uh, French CA. We lost that. We lost a light cruiser. I don't know which one Hang Hai was. Ship's in service. Which one's Hang Hai? Oh, no, no, no. Ship sunk. Hang Hai? Ah, oh, damn it. One of our better light cruisers. Okay, come on. Get the invasion underway. Please. Only Navy can win this war. Yep. Increases torpedo readiness. That's fine. Delayed due to unfavorable weather. It is December. Alright, new carrier time. Enemy coastal raid in southern China. They don't have a lot. Accept it. Attack enemy ships in general. Okay, cool. So, what do we have here? We have the heavy cruisers uh, Chi Yuan and Nen Chen. This is definitely a CA raid. We have two CVs. And we have our third CV. You should be formed up as a core group on the other CVs. You right now... Alright, you should be readying up that strike. You need to be readying up basically the same strike. And then that gives me two strike opportunities from each of those carriers, and then you... So then, this fighter squadron here is 8. So we'll split it up into 4, and another 4. Alright, so enemy coastal raid. Are they attacking ships, or are they attacking a battery? Like a offensive target. I think they're going after ships, unless... Yeah, okay. We're going after ships. Yeah, catapult launch search planes. do it. See if we can find anything. One CV, one destroyer. Awesome. Okay, we get we get an early sighting of them. So CV coordinated strike. Can we do multi carrier launches? All right, so 
you need to target there. It's probably over there. How long is your range? Range heavy is... okay. So the Air Comet B, we're still using some. Damn it. Damn it, 122. That's not good. Yes, uh, the Su-34C is much better suited for it. Alright. Launch that strike. Let's see, do you have... Uh, what are your torpedo bombers? One of them is... Okay, so you do have that one. We'll launch two half strikes. So one CV is up there. So they're firing at a patrol boat. They don't know where we are. So what reports do we have? So two CAs are up there. We have a strike underway. Alright. Let's see what we can hit. With the second strike from that carrier, and then the second strike from you will also be launched at uh, CVs. Oh, you don't. You don't have the... You don't quite have the range. How far is it? It's 122. Go a little further. Alright. They're bombing over there. So we know that there's an aircraft squadron over there. Let's turn in this way a bit. I don't know if we've been spotted. Have we been spotted? Have RCA's been spotted by aircraft? I don't think we have, so they don't know where we are. Alright, so... This carrier division, get your second strike underway. And then this carrier division. Fighter, torpedo bomber, and dive bomber. You're gonna go after BB over here. Which hopefully will make them target the heavy cruisers. And then you're also going to go after, uh, you know, you'll, you'll continue going after BB. So I could foresee a lot of uh, French and German uh, CAs. I don't know if this is against France or, I think it's against France. Alright, so we're dive bombing something up there. We found something. Okay, come on. CV bomb hit. Good report. Good report. I like hearing that. Go to 20 knots. Now we've been spotted. Reported a bomb hit on a heavy cruiser. Wait. They launch a strike over here? What? Oh, they're going after that patrol boat. Yeah, they've already launched their strike. They didn't spot us early. Fortunately, I think we have taken some uh, definite losses sending aircraft against them. But we have more strikes underway. There we go. Another strike. Damn it. Uh, one of our... Oh, okay. Okay, that's just one near port. Nice! Nice hit, nice hit. We hit something with a torpedo over there. And two uh, destroyer bomb hits. So I think we killed a destroyer based on all those being in the same location. There's our next strike. Do we have another strike we can uh, hurriedly ready up? How many planes? Is you sent out an early one? You sent out an early one. Looks like you have recovered some of your dive bombers, but that's it. How long until you are ready? One, seven, one, one. Okay, so you only had a group of dive bombers. 
Okay, so they're still bombing merchants. They probably succeeded at their objective. Okay, come on. Enemy. They're shooting down our planes. Nice hit, nice hit on something. Oh, something of ours is getting attacked. But we're attacking multiple of them. AMC bomb hit, that might be a carrier. That might be a carrier we've just hit a couple times. CV bomb hit, nice. Nice hit, nice hit, nice hit. We are definitely managing stuff. Um, so on you. Do you have any more aircraft ready up? No, not many. Not many at the moment. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Two bomb hits on Ninja. We, one was a dud, one was a hull. Um, other than that, I think we're okay. Two CV bomb hits on one of theirs. And Ninja we bomb. Damn it. They hit Ninja we a third time. A fire started. Damn it. Um... Hit something over there. Two torpedoes. I'm hoping it's the enemy carrier. I'm hoping that's knocked an enemy carrier out of action. Alright. So, do we have anything we can ready up? There's stuff on Ninjui we can ready up, but I don't want to ready up stuff on... You know what? Ninjui might sink. I'm a little worried. But that's only her dive bombers. Her other planes have not returned yet. Or... We have taken very heavy losses. If we look at the logs, and um, okay, so that's us getting shot at. If we look at some of the air combat logs higher up, ah, they were shooting at a lot of our planes. So their fighters are very good. And ours are not, and or they're carrying a lot of fighters. Okay. Do we have any more strikes going out? Maybe. Yeah, one more. Ninja fire spreads. Ke bomb hit. Nothing, nothing much. And they're continuing to attack us. There's the dive bomber. Are those returning dive bombers? Maybe they just didn't attack. Oh, come on, Nenjui. Get your damn fire under control. Oh my god. Alright, Ninjui is not in a position to continue launching at the moment. Um, Alright, we can get more dive bombers away from you. They won't be escorted. But it's the best we can do. We spot an unidentified enemy ship. Um, launch them over this way. See if we can uh, knock out an enemy carrier. Alright. Die bombing. Oh, damn it, Chi Wan took a hit too. Would be nice if Nenjui got her damn fire under control. Unidentified ships as heavy cruisers. Jean d'Arc class. Oh, come on, France. Disable the turret. So we have 10-inch guns. We have modern 10-inch guns. These guys have 10 10-inch guns on that one, and we don't know what on the other one. We have scored a hit on the other one, though. That's a Duple. That has a 12 9-inch guns. They might slightly outgun us, but we're going to out-armor them. No, keep the current target location. Launch the damn strike. Um, I don't want to launch anything from you two yet. Yeah, I've got to wait till that second torpedo bomber squadron recovers. Uh, 
Unfortunately, we appear to be losing this fight. There we go. So that's Nan Chen, which is apparently hitting. Oh, come on, Nanjui. Just... Can we detach her? This is ridiculous. How much the carrier is just burning. Alright, so we can launch from uh, Chi Yuan. Do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Launch both strikes. See if we can knock out enemy carriers. Good. We're getting hits on that uh, Duple. Unfortunately, there's still raining fire on us, and I. There we go, Jean d'Arc. Good job, good job. You finally hit her. We do have we do have an armor advantage. Um, I don't know if we have a firepower advantage or not. We are hitting them though, which is good. And Chen's taking hits. They're they're taking hits, but they're not like doing anything other than float or other than structure damage. Do. Damn it! All right, that's a little bad. What is with? Are, we're just not landing many hits here, are we? Are we having a fire control issue? Is the French training just that much better? This might. This. Oh God! Damn it! God damn it, yeah, pull away. Pull the hell away. No. Keep the current target. Oh god damn it, Ninjui fire spreads. Why? What is your crew quality? It's zero. Seriously, you're on fire five now. You haven't put it out at all. Ninjui cannot keep up and has been detached. Seriously, you had zero fire and your crews have just been incompetent. Oh my god. Why am I going to lose a flippin' carrier due to my uh, crews being this stupid? Alright, so we are hitting these guys. Thankfully. We're sailing kind of against them now. We're scoring 10 inch hits on them. I'm going to go off of fastest available. In the meantime, our carriers are doing something stupid. Hey, Ninja, we finally reduced our fire. Alright, we've identified it as the Duple. So now that we're sailing away from... Oh! Oh my god, we've destroyed two of, two of its turrets. Turn back in. And Ninja's fire spreads again. But hey, at least that's better. Ninshin reports an unknown radar contact. Okay. Damn it, Ninja! Seriously? Seriously? Oh, god damn it. Not more aircraft. Okay, they missed. And now we're starting to land more hits on these guys. So the Jeanne d'Arc... Oh, we haven't destroyed any of her turrets. The Duple... On Wait, have we? No, we haven't. The Duple, on the other hand, we have if I recall correctly, destroyed a couple turrets on. Yeah. So Duple is not held up well. The Jean d'Arc is held up a bit better. Fusheng took a couple of bomb hits. Or bomb near misses. Um, I think she'll be okay. The Jean d'Arc is still getting hit more. The Yuan has now taken a bomb hit. Any fire started? No. Oh, thank goodness. Come on, Nanjui, put out your damn fire! This is ridiculous. Oh. Well, good job. You uh, blew an enemy CV up. That's good. I don't want to lose a CV due to it uh, being on fire and the AI just taking it into port at full speed. Fire reduced by damage control is at 5 now? It's at 5. Good. 
So we are scoring bomb hits on destroyers at the moment. Yeah, these uh, enemy heavy cruisers are not holding up very well right now. And it looks like the, that second group of airstrikes has done a lot of damage. So now the Jeanne d'Arc is medium damage on fire. She has, one of her turrets is destroyed, one's disabled. Ninjui and, okay, Chi Wan has uh, three turrets which can fire at her, but is apparently kind of low on ammo. Um, Nan Chen is uh, also apparently kind of low on ammo, but still has a turret which can fire at her. Um, so I would like to chase these two down and sink them. Because they are very much damaged and they're not real they don't really have many places they can go given their current location. Okay, good. We're hitting the Jean d'Arc. Um, do we have any more planes I can send? Primarily from you. Okay, your torpedo bombers. I don't think you have a lot of them, but you do have some. So we'll target over here. Think, and I hope that'll be enough to take something out. Oh, damn it. Ninjui's getting her fire reduced. They're still launching enemy air or aircraft at us. Oh, damn it. Lei Yuan is on fire now. Um... I need land-based cap, cap over this division. Right now, our carriers have been getting hit hard by the enemy carriers. Um, okay. Squadrons. Um, can't do anything about it. I would like to just stand them down. Oh, hey. Planes are approaching enemy ships. Ninjui fire spreads. She's at four now. Damn it. Fire spreading on the other one, too. Uh, okay, so we have torpedo bombers bombing stuff over there. And nothing. So you guys can only go 26 knots right now. Damn it. 4F tall hit on one of ours. Damn it, their fire's spreading again. Come on, get your fires under control. We need to get these guys back to port. I think Swatow. If we can take these guys out and not lose the carriers we've won. Chi Yuan sights an unknown ship. Okay, it's part of this force here. Lei Yuan's fire is reduced by damage control. Good. Jean d'Arc is getting hit. Let's hit those two again. Nanjui fire spreads. What's it at now? Seven. Damn it, Nanjui. Seriously, get your damn fire under control. Alright, so the duplay is getting hit. Uh, Lei Yuan will probably get her fire under control, it looks like. Uh, Jean d'Arc. So Nan Chen did take a hull penetration hit. They are both pretty damaged, but we need to continue just taking these guys out. Because I want them to sink. Nan Chen fire spreads. Damn it, Nan Chen's on fire. That's annoying. I think, yeah, these are just the destroyers. Okay, your fire is being reduced to one. That's good. And then Chen fire spreads to two. That's bad. Two is acceptable for the moment. And we just need to keep hitting these guys with ten inch shells and try to take them out. Nice. The Yuan's fire is reduced. And Chen's fire is reduced. Alright, yes to all.
Oh, damn it! Nan we lost Nanjui due to fucking fires. Yep. That started at a zero. That fire started at a zero and went... Didn't have any conflagration or anything. It just burned the ship down. That is so bullshit. That is... Incredibly bullshit. Just... Wow. This happened... <laughs> Why? Why did I just lose a carrier due to that? There was... It just... The fire just kept spreading and spreading. Leiyuan might be able to get him under control. Despite having not quite as good crew, is that just... When it was built? It would have been really nice to have tried to get them back to port. Chiyuan high speed, or high speed increases flooding. Damn it. Come on, just take these guys out. Jean d'Arc is slowed and very heavily damaged. She's still technically up. Is she sinking? She's sinking, she's sinking. Yeah, you need to exclusively attack the Duplé now. Take out that Duplé class and then get to port. You guys are right now on a support roll. I'm gonna order you to be on a core roll. I need you guys to just regroup now with these uh, heavy cruisers. And then I'll try to manually take control of them. Ah, damn it, damn it. We don't need to lose another carrier due to these stupid fires. And they nearly got the other ship under control as well. Alright, Nanchen, how bad's your fire? You're only on fire too. Come on, hit that Duplay class. Hit that Duplay class a few more times and just put her down. Come on. Come on, you can score some hits on the damn thing, right? It's slowed. You can hit it. You can hit it. I really hope that my carrier damage control now becomes a lot better after we learn from having one of our carriers literally burned down from a non or from a fire which started under control and just completely spread through the ship and just gradually burned everything. Okay, come on, hit that duplay class more. And then we need to get to port. Lay you on fire spreads. Just stop losing carriers, damn it! Okay, there we go. Ten Curtis Avenger are approaching enemy ships. I don't know what they're dive bombing. Hopefully, something important. Lay you on's fire is still only at two. Good, they're. Oh, they reduced it temporarily. Come on, hit that duplay. Hit that duplay. It's slowed. Have you stopped? Not yet. Are you dead now? Not quite yet. Come on. Is it sinking? It's not sinking. How is that thing not sinking? You can tell if it shows three knots here, but it's still showing 30, so that thing's not sinking yet. Yeah, you guys just need to go home, though. There we go, fire extinguished. Let's get out of here. I think we're gonna sink her. Alright, fastest available. Get us to Swatow. Yes, catapult launch, search planes. Keep them spotted. Keep spotting them. And we'll just go into Swatow. I don't want to risk m any more of my carriers. Well, actually, good news, it's going to be nighttime. And I ordered my carriers to form as a core group. So we should be okay. We should be okay. We've only taken the one carrier. 
or one fleet carrier lost, but ah, oh, that is annoying. What are these carrier who's who's gonna become division lead? I hope they actually go in. Are they gonna go in? Yep, they can go in. Cool. So we got our ships into port. The enemy definitely achieved their objective, but I think we definitely achieved our objective as well. That is, I, I think we sank two enemy heavy cruisers. Yes, we did. And, oh, how did the, what? That thing escaped? Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Ah, oh, I should have just kept shooting until it was officially sinking. So, what happened? Ah! Oh, that thing so would have sunk. How fast is she moving? Eight knots. Oh, that's so bullshit. That is bullshit. <laughs> this has been some bullshit. Um. Yeah, and she w she definitely would have gone down. There's no way. Or maybe she would have gotten her. I don't know. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Okay, so. Pain leave was sunk. She suffered a magazine hit from an adventure. I will take that. We lost Nanjui due to this bomb hit right here, which caused fire, which just burned the ship down. At the same time, we did also sink the carrier Navarre, which, um... Okay, so the Fran French also had uh, fire issues with one of their carriers. That's good. And then the Kleber, we just sank. It is... No, what, what got her? What got her in the end? Was it just a lot of tenon shells? Yeah, it was just a lot of tenon shells. So, yeah, that one was damaged, conned. Ugh, so fucking close to sinking. Nan Chen took a lot of hits, but... Shrug I mean, didn't really shrug them off, but did survive them. Chi Yuan took the same number of hits and also survived them pretty well. Uh, that one took a bomb hit and survived, and then this cruiser man... Or y Young Pao managed to get to port. Um, Brant's had an additional CV, so they had three CVs deployed. This is definitely a victory. Oh, damn it, if we had sunk this one, how did we not hit it? How did we not hit it? Where was it? So, it was over there. Um, yeah, so, likewise, our planes don't hit the most important one. So, Khan was still over there. And then that destroyer did also make it out. I didn't check the destroyers. Alright, so we get a minor victory. Oh, why is my sister... Excuse me. Oh, internet's getting fucky. And our new CV has trouble reaching her. Design speed. Fantastic. Okay, six inch dual purpose mounting like it matters. We lost a destroyer. We lost a corvette. Let's add a... Uh, let's copy the air group and paste it on her. So we did get a new... Did we get... I'm going to move this CV into Southeast Asia and keep our currently working up CV in... Northeast Asia. However, the good news is we definitely have an advantage here, and I, there's a little bit of time left. So, let's do one more battle. And Russia's going to go to war this turn. You know what? Cancel the movement. Um, cancel the movement on you. Oh, come on. Cancel it. Cancel it. Cancel it. Move ship. Uh, cancel ordered moves on that guy. Okay, yeah. Stay in Northeast Asia for the moment. Um, because Russia will be entering war here this month. So we did manage to get that victory. Yes, we get an invasion battle. Attack enemy ships in general. Do it. So... We don't get any carriers because of last battle. So I want land-based cap over this division. So this is going to be a good old battleship battle. And hopefully we'll be able to launch some... Um, oh, damn it. Enemy. Okay, so they do have fighters at the airfield there. I'm hoping that they don't have a lot of planes at uh, the airbase at Haiphong. Okay, so they do have some CAs over here. So in terms of warships, over here we have the battleship Nanhai leading the battleships Chunghai and Chongqing. So both the Chongqians 
Um, you are, why are you independent? No, form is a core group on, yeah, Nin High. And we'll also have the battlecruiser High Ann. Over here, we have the battleships, uh, Hanan, or the battleship Hanan and the battlecruiser Yang Wei. Um, so these are, this is our battlecruiser group. I'll order them forward at 20 knots. So there's the invasion transport. Damn it, there's enemy ships. Charge them. Charge them down right now. Do not let them get to the transports. So we've identified it as a battleship. Um, they hit Chongshen. That's annoying. So this is going to be a very annoying battle because we don't have carriers. But I'm not... No, the enemy is going to have a carrier. They're going to have Bian. Or Bian. Oh, this might not be winnable. Alright. On the other hand, that Duplay is going to get fucked. The other thought is just try to charge the airfield and shoot it with the battleships. And that's probably what I'm going to do. Alright, so that Duplay class, how much has it slowed down? How fast is it moving? Um, we're saying 20 knots at the moment. You need to go to Haifang. Um, I'm hoping you can hit the airbase. Because we need to hit that airbase. Alright, so that, yeah, that Duplay class is wrecked now. Target that light cruiser. Yeah, that was what I was worried about. And they are attacking the battleships. Do we have any reports of any enemy carriers? No, we don't. Okay. Alright, so the Duplay class is definitely dead. Are these... These gotta be land-based bombers. I'm hoping that the land-based cap gets up here. So their CL's definitely retreating. So what we need to do is we need to just destroy the airbase at Haiphong. We need to get up there and we need to wreck it. It doesn't seem like we're taking any bomb hits right now though, which is good news. And the enemy has been pushed back, which is also good news. They got more aircraft. There we go. That's the first bomb hit on Chongqian, which is not fun. Hanan took a bomb hit too, and that disabled or destroyed a turret. Oh, come the fuck on. So now you're slowed down to 17 knots. You guys need to get over there and bombard that damn airbase. So one of our CLs is still shooting stuff up over here. You know what? It's going to be nighttime now. So now you guys can't see. Turn around. Turn around. Regroup with the invasion transports at 16 knots. Go this way. Has a... Has Chung Chien. Um, she, her flooding is mostly under control. That's good. Unknown radar contact. Multiple of them over here. And... Oh, come on. Squad max, 17 knots. Turn in normal speed. This is probably a destroyer. So we've hit it multiple times. Oh no, that's the cruiser. That's the cruiser. Good. Those are... Those have got to be the two destroyers down there. 
Whatever this cruiser is, though, it would be good to sink it. Alright, there we go. Unidentified ship hit. Multiple times by multiple 16 inch shells. Um, turn into it this way. Okay. Okay, so it's been chased into our lines, basically. Anon took a hit, but it looks like we gave it a 6-inch for its trouble. There we go, we gave it a 16-inch for its trouble. Um, yep, there's another 16-inch hit. <clears throat> and, ta-da, the other battle line has now pinged it, too. And it's sinking. Good. So those two are probably destroyers, so I don't want to engage them. So where are the invasion transports? The invasion transports are over this way. Go to cruise speed. Go to cruise speed. On the other hand, they look very slowed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to order these destroyers to uh, chase them at full speed. And I'm going to keep you guys not... I'll keep you going at 20 knots. Because I want to see if I can get these destroyers close enough to be able to hit them. Honestly, Nun High, you are the flagship. You just move at full speed. Because these guys are moving really slow. But I want to keep my destroyers in range. Go down to 26. Go down to 24. We are shooting them, we are hitting them with some foreign shells, because I, I think these are enemy destroyers. On high is starting to shoot them too. And I pull into a sharp turn. Fupo, which one's Fupo? Where's she? Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so we, Nun High was avoiding torpedoes, but we managed to dodge them successfully. Yeah, launch a flotilla attack. I hope Fupo can get her flooding under control. Yeah, she did. Cool. Is that the transport fleet? That's our transports. Good. We found them. Alright, invasion fleet is found. So these little additional enemy destroyers here. I don't think they're taking kindly to us attacking them. There we go. You guys stay with the transports. Going on 16 knots. So you should be able to ID that one soon, right? And shoot at it? No. Nope. Pull away. Pull away. Um, you guys might need to interfere. Alright, good. T-66 is actually attacking it. Whatever that Whatever that ship is, which I think it's a destroyer. Alright. So we have successfully put our battleship fleet with the transports. And honestly, I'm just going to regroup you guys with them. Alright, regroup with the transports. Yeah, these unknown radar contacts are the fleet. You don't need to keep alerting me to them. 
Now, how fast are these guys moving? They're moving 12 knots. So once you get in them, just go 12 knots. Alright. Just go 12 knots until we reach the objective. And then we'll be able to finally launch the third invasion of this damn location. This is the third time I've had to do this. There we go. Objective reached. And then go... No, go to cruise speed and just leave. Go to cruise speed and just leave. Yep. Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, so that was one of our escorting ones. Which is a little annoying. That we might have just lost a destroyer, but let's uh, just leave. We should have night time for a while. And yeah. Looks like we're going to get away with this one. An invasion of Haifong has now taken place. Yeah, start catapult launching search planes if... If they're going to get back when it's daytime, yeah, launch them again. Oh. That's where the enemy carrier force is. Charge it. That is exceptionally good information to know. I want you to go this way to cut them off, and you just go full speed at them. Okay, we approach. We have bombers approaching enemy ships, and they didn't do much. Those are probably dive bombers from uh, Sanya. They're running. They're running to the south. Get something. Come on, get something. Nope. Get something. Come on, one of you. Nice! Battleship bomb hits. I don't think they have any battleships unless we're going... Well, it could be German. German battleship. Just keep charging them. Yes. There, it looks like they are continuing down to the south somewhat. Airbase Da Nang took bomb hits. Come on. Do we have any sighting reports of it's ever over here? Don, damn it, damn it, damn it. What did they hit us with? Dime bombers from I don't know where. We don't have any new reports of where these guys are. Where are dive bombers approaching? Where are they approaching enemy ships at? Oh, down here. Damn it. They're down here. We got Curtis Avenger approaching enemy ships. I know Da Nang is a very heavily armed airbase, though. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Damn it. Lost a destroyer. He's still trying to bomb us. We just need to find them. We got more planes approaching enemy ships. Reporting them in this area. We're almost there. Come on. Uh, no, 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 no. No float planes. No, 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 no. No float planes right now. That might have been... Those might have launched. Enemy aircraft are approaching. Dive bombing us. They missed. Come on, we identified... We identified ships over here. Found them! 
What are you guys? That's identified as a battleship. Whatever that is. No. There's our dive bomber strike. Wow. They got shot down so quickly. Those might be old dive bombers. I don't know. Normal speed. Normal speed. We have found an enemy CV. Hunt it down. Hunt that fucker down. Whatever that enemy CV is, it is a CVL. Damn it. Only a CVL. Where is Bjorn? Where's Bjorn? Bjorn. Is that Bjorn? Alright, so whatever this CVL is, we are starting to shoot it. Go this way. That's also identified as a CVL at the moment. Alright. We have managed to score hits on it. There we go. There's the Bjorn. So it's slowed. We have aircraft approaching us. Switch to the Bjorn class. This is the battle I wanted. Honestly, move at 28 knots. Just try to rejoin us. I know our lead ship can make that. Our back ones can't. But at least one ship can. Alright. Pull away a bit. That destroyer could launch torpedoes at us. So how good is that the Havre hit? It's hit. I don't think it's on fire, but it's been hit. It's been damaged. They've definitely got destroyers charging us right now. I'm trying to get in the way. Oh yeah, that one is... I don't know if that's a visible smoke screen or if that's just a glitch. I think that's just a visual glitch. Turn away, turn away. Damn it. Nicely done, enemy destroyers. Turn back in. You need to hit that Bjorn class. Okay, one of our CLs took a hit. So I think the Le Havre is certainly damaged, not in good shape. Damn it! The, the French destroyers, they're, they're timing these attacks excellently. Actually, wait, those are light cruisers. Alright. Yes, detacher. AI controlled. AI controlled. Okay, so that Mosquiton is dead. Just keep charging this way. Take out the La Havre. Take out the enemy CVL. That's your current goal. Take it out until the Bjorn class is spot. Oh, come on. Where did they launch that at us? Alright. Young Wee's gonna start falling back. I'm fine with that. Yes. Pick up survivors. Okay. We have hit that Le Havre class multiple times. It's on heavy damage now. It's probably very slowed. Okay. Hanan, you just need to keep going ahead. We need to find out whatever is over here. Curtis Avenger are attacking enemy ships. That's good. See how bomb hits. Okay, Le Havre is now on fire. That's fine. Got an enemy ship down here. Don't know what it is. Identify it as a CL. Yeah, detach Young Wee. They're attacking Hanan. So we know that at least... Oh, damn it! It's gonna be nighttime again. Come on, game! Give me some good rolls! How the fuck has this carrier escaped? Alright, Yang Wee, go to AI control. Is still damage? I'm not super concerned yet. I think we can still make it to port. Okay, so that's a CL. We need to hit the Bjorn. Alright, pass this available. 
Don't know what he, what that is. Normal speed. We got two ships here. I think it's just too protected. I think you guys gotta go up north to Sanya. Damn it, so that damn Bjorn escapes us again. It's so annoying. Alright, launch a flotilla attack at these guys. Alright, yep, do it. Oh, come on. Seriously. Wait, hold on. Have they turned back up north again? So we're back. Yeah, they're heading back up north. Alright, so we've got two battles we need to fight right now. So this is the presumably very on fire enemy carrier, enemy CBL. And then down here is the Bjorn. And we need to hit this Bjorn so badly. If we can knock out the Bjorn, we're going to be in a far, far better situation. You know what? No, don't turn in. Turn away. Oh, come on. Seriously, we know one of them's an enemy ship. You need to shoot at it. Okay, so that is being identified as a CV right there. That's definitely the Bjorn. Get ahead of it. And get on flotilla attack duty. Okay, this is a rough situation. I have to manage two battles at once right now. Okay, there's the CV. You know what, you guys, just go in and attack it. Alright. Because this is still hella risky. Alright, Hanan, move in a little bit. We need you to fire... We need you to spot that CV. We need you to fire torpedoes at that CV. If you can. Um... There we go. There's the Bjorn. Please, torpedo it. Torpedo it, torpedo it, torpedo it. Do you have torpedoes left? You do. Fire them. Damn it. How have you not fired any of your torpedoes? You've just sat there. Oh, now you launch them. All right. Swerve that way. Oh, my fucking... God, the incompetence. Alright. Problem is, they have too many destroyers, and I can't really charge them, because my destroyers aren't forming a good screen. Can you flotilla attack? That You're ordered to flotilla attack. You know what? You go on AI control. That Bjorn class is now over here. You go south. Nope. You got a destroyer coming after you, I think. And then you, I will just put you on AI control. Alright, and then hi. Oh dear fucking god. Hanan is firing 16 inch shells at that unidentified ship. I will take that. Don't think that's the Bjorn. I hope it is. Alright, you need to swerve this way. And hit. That's gotta be the enemy carrier. Good shooting. Yong Wee, what the fuck are you doing? Start swerving. Swerve, heart. Alright. I don't fully know what that is. Okay. Yep. So hopefully one of, hopefully one of our destroyers engages that one. Whatever it is. Something's launching torpedoes, T-70 is.
Okay, so that ship is dead in the water. That's got to be the enemy carrier. It's got to be sinking. I bet you that's an enemy destroyer. T-72 can't move. She's getting shot up by 5-inch shells. Yeah, that's an enemy destroyer. So we're going to lose that destroyer definitely. But yeah, the Bjorn's down here. And we need to sink it. So I think that is one destroyer we managed to pull off. Come on. Hanan, fire at it. Oh my god. Don't let them get you, young Wee. Seriously? Okay, good, good, good. You're hitting that. You're hitting that. And weather limits air operations. The weather's just gotten worse. I think we managed to score some gun hits on the B. Aaron, which I think is that one. What are you? What are you? It's probably a destroyer. It's got to be a destroyer. Seriously? Seriously, our, just, our torpedoes are hitting nothing. These, uh... Oh, dear God, I'm going to lose a Fusing. Ah! Chase down this damn Bjorn class. If we can sink this Bjorn class, this is very, very much worth it. Okay, good. Actually, she's got her flooding under control. I think it's you. All right. Hanan. Come on. Come on. What you lost sight of the... Damn it! I'm getting some terrible luck with, like, everything here. Alright, turn this way. I've hit one. That's gotta be the beer. CL? Alright, one of you is the beer, and one of you is not. Unless that's the beer. So that's a CL. There we go. That's Bjorn. Yes. So that is an enemy CL right there. It's an Atlanta type CL. Come on. Take them out. You know what? Use the Bjorn as a shield. Alright, so we've lost a destroyer. Is T-72... T-72 is gonna sink. The Bjorn's on fire! Alright, go to cruise speed. We've won this. Yep, it's dead. It's so dead. Go back up to Sonya. And let's just go ultra fast. Um, ooh, I don't know what that is. Whatever that is, it's damaged. Um, but you know, I guess good news is... It wow! Fucking what? Yeah, there goes T-72. So whatever this ship is, it has torpedoes. Good to know. Hanan, get your damn flooding under control, please. Wow, you seriously gonna have permanent... Uh, you guys just need to go this way towards Sanya. You need to start swerving more. Did you get it under control there? No. Wow, I'm getting some fucking... Horrendous luck! Just go up to Sonya at 16 knots. Because I think... Okay, yeah, you have gotten it under control. Thank goodness. Yeah, you're gonna make it. There you go. Syria's is over. I will take that. I will take it. I will take it. So, we lost four destroyers. T-72, which was a T-70 class, so a bit more modern. Um, was that a larger one? T-72? Yeah, that was a larger one. Um, as well as um, two Lacon classes with uh, T-60 and T-64, and then also T-59. Um, we heavily damaged an enemy CVL, but it managed to escape. What the hell hit Hanan at the end? Le Vossier. 
Wow, so that thing just got ahead of us, and it's just like, oh, hey, that's an, an enemy battleship. Let's fire torpedoes at it, despite us, you know, really not chasing it. We were going back to port, and it hit us. So, yeah, not bad. Uh, Bjorn, Bjorn sunk. We hit it a lot. You know, scored some 16-inch hits. And some 14-inch hits, and it sank. Oh, yeah, and got torpedoed in the end. Oh yeah, the torpedo sank it, so good job. Uh, CVL, La Havre. Um, her fire rage down of control, that's good. So, when we started the fire, okay, aircraft destroyed, catapult. A bridge damage, aircraft destroyed, okay, that's what did it. And then the CA Desait, you know. 16 shells are not healthy for heavy cruisers. Um, Hanan, I assume the bomb hits, where were the bomb hits from? Uh, Airbase Haifang, and then their CVs hit us, and then Young Wee still had seven flooding at the end from her single torpedo hit. So what hit her with the torpedo? That was a uh, CL Lalond. Um, okay, so we sank the CL Forbin of the Fax class. That was good. That was the one we shot up a lot. Lalond escaped with heavy damage. Yeah. So yeah, she got a good torpedo in us, so she was definitely damaged, too. Um, we sank two French destroyers, a 2,000 tonner and a 1,800 uh, tonner. So not quite as many points as the destroyers we lost, but still good. Um, this one took a torpedo from the Sarbacane. Did that one escape? Yeah, it did. Sarbacane survived. And our invasion was successful. So, um... Yeah, Bjorn sunk. Or, uh, was it Bjorn? It, it was the carrier Bjorn we sank. Um, and the CVL Le Havre. So right now we have sunk uh, three French CVs and a French CVL for one CV loss of our own. Um, and otherwise we've been doing pretty good. We did almost lose a light cruiser here, but it looks like we've managed to escape this pretty well. Um, I can see what got the kills on these ships. So you were just shot up by a lot of 5-inch shells. That was Lavoisier at the end. Ooh, that would be bad. Um, you took a mine and sank. Okay, you were with the transports. T-64 took two 6-inch hits, and T-59 took a bomb hit. Ah, so that was from the airbase. And she sank. Okay. You know what? I will accept this result. Did we... Score any additional bomb hits on anything here. Um, so Lavoisier did take two bomb hits. Let's just tech yeah, 2,000 bound bomb hits from there. So that was one of the reports. Um, that was our ship which got hit. So that was Shunxing which got hit. Uh, that was one of our battleships which got hit. What hit it with a bomb? That was a one from the airbase. And then... We way over-report the amounts of bomb hits we score on stuff. Or maybe not, I don't know. But yeah, that's fine. That's fine, I will take that result. That's a good result to walk home with. And we get troops in Tonkin. And that's the French CA. Neutral nations are upset because of France, um, and Russia will probably go to war with us this turn, which will reset the victory point situation. Uh, we will try to invade Cochin, China, and yeah. Ah, sorry about that. My sinuses have really been acting up. So, so far, war has been going well. We did lose uh, one of our light cruisers, unfortunately, due to a German sub. A German sub? Wow. And then we lost a CV due to uh, it just being on fire and burning down, as well as some destroyers. Um, nothing too terrible yet, and we've certainly paid them or paid them back for it. If we can get an invasion of Cochin China quickly, that will allow me to actually resume construction on some stuff, and or alternatively start construction on a new AMC which I can then quickly rebuild into a carrier but I probably don't want to do that uh, so if we check the situation France right now has one remaining CV and a remaining CVL well yeah so they have the Navari class CV which can carry 4-5 aircraft and a little class CVL 
Uh, Germany still has its heavy cruiser force um, and has a good CV force, which we still have to put down. Um, but we have our new CV in service, so hopefully we can knock some of these German CVs out um, relatively soon. They're building a massive one, though, in Moltke. Um, Russia does have a certain sized CV force. So if we currently look, Russia has a lot of ships active here and some ships active here. Uh, Germany doesn't have any ships here at the moment. Uh, if we look at the Russian ships, we cannot see their location because they are really pissed at us and probably going to war soon. But yes, that has been it for this stream. Thank you, uh, everyone who tuned in to watch, um, either on Twitch, which I don't think was anyone this time because I streamed really late, or on YouTube, who, uh, yeah, thank you, everyone on YouTube who, uh, decided to watch this. Um... Very, very happy to have people watching. Some people watching. Uh, for all of you on YouTube, um, Twitch and Discord links are down below if you want to join either service. Um, I will entirely leave like subscribing and all that sort of stuff. Like subscribing. <laughs> um, subscribing, liking, and all that sort of stuff up to you. It's it's not my choice. It's your choice. I don't want to. I don't want to bug you about it. Um, despite me just literally bugging you about it right there uh yeah so thank you everyone who watched and yeah i will uh, see you next time and hopefully we can continue this war and the politicians will not be stupid and uh either get us out of it before you know we can really fight it or hopefully get us out of it if things start going really bad all right bye <laughs>